Microsoft Publisher gives you great proofing tools uh, for you to make sure that there are less errors. So in order to use that, I'm going to draw a text box and I'm going to type in a simple sentence like this is a simple sentence right there. All right. So right now there are no errors. So let me just zoom this in from the view menu right here. I'm going to say selected object. Right now there is no error right here. But if I were to type in some error, for example, uh, miss the spelling of this, right? It actually autocorrects this over there. And you can see that uh, this is an error sentence. This is, the, I mean, an error with, error with, just like that. So let me just type in a triple D right there, all right? And there you go. So right now you can see that there's a red underline that it means that the, uh, the uh, word is incorrect. So I can simply right click and you can see that I can um, ignore this or I can actually correct it from the list right here. So it notice that it is this and I actually cleared that out. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on word just like that. As you can see right here. Uh, so uh, if I were to write in some name, for example, if I were to write in my name over here, uh, it actually corrects it because it is actually saved. Let me type in my brother's name right here. And you can see that it actually shows that it is red because it is not an actual word. But I might want to repeat the word time and again. So this is actually being written out just like that. And now what I want to do is I can right click and I can simply say ignore all and it'll remove all of the uh, um, spelling errors just like that as you can see right here. It's not re removing this one. So another thing I can do is add this to dictionary if the um, error is there. So this is actually being shown because it's a repeated word. Let me just remove that out. And now if I were to type it again, for example, now it is not showing in this document. I'm going to add in another name. Okay. Just like that. So that is a right word for some region. Okay. Another name right there. And this shows that it is incorrect as well. So another thing I can do is I can right click and add to dictionary. So what it does is it adds the word itself in the dictionary. So whenever I type in that word itself, then it is a part of the dictionary word. So nothing happens to this. Um, I can also check for spellings in another way. For example, if I make a lot of spelling errors, just like this. Okay. You can see that there's a lot of spelling errors, uh, just like that. Uh, another way to check spelling is go into, um, review tab right here and go for spelling. You can go like that and you can see that it actually gives you options on what to do. So I can actually select the word from here or I can type in the word I want to change it to. So I can do change and here it says, uh, this is make a lot. So this is going to be a lot just like that. It just points out the thing that which I want to change a lot. I can change this, add it, add it, ignore it or change all of it just like that and press yes. Once everything is che checked, then it shows that everything is okay. Another thing again, I added in a words, but this actually got added in the dictionary. So another thing I can do is remove the word altogether. In order to do that, I'm going to go into file. I'm going to go into options and over here inside of proofing, you can see that there are custom dictionaries and inside of custom dictionary dictionaries, you can choose the ones which is actually there. For example, this is the one I'm going to, I can simply edit the word list. And here you can see that there are a lot of words, which I actually added in over time. So over here, I may have the same name that I added in right here. For example, here's the name. I can simply delete this, press OK, OK again. And now once I type in the word again, it shows that it is wrong again. So I can right click, change it into any other word, which is correct, just like that. Uh, other proofing tools which is provided to me is the research tool. For example, if I want to know uh, what something is, for example, I, I'm, I'm going to say tutorial. And let's say I want to learn the meaning of a tutorial. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to go into the research tab and you can see that it'll set online for the word tutorial. So it'll search for reference books right here. So if I were to search it, you can see that a lesson from a book tutorial is a lesson from a book, a lesson from a tutor and it's an adjective related to the tutor and so forth. 
you can also select what you want so if you want translation you can do that as well which we're going to look in further lesson and over here uh, we can also look for in Carter dictionary and you can see that in Carter, in Carter dictionary results shows up just like that if we were to go for English United Kingdom it shows another United Kingdom version of English uh, details for the same word if I want to find in synonym or something I can also use the thesaurus tool so if I were to click here uh, you can see that the thesaurus tool actually appears so tutorial can be changed into class lesson or seminar or lecture even so i'm gonna sim simply say lesson and here you can see that there are uh, more words related to lesson so let's say i want to use the word class i can simply click here press insert and there you go the word has been replaced right there for example say i can say welcome to the class and be more formal i simply select the word go into thesaurus and here are the synonyms right here so welcome to the seminar let's say i want to do this and insert and there you go welcome to the seminar it sounds more formal just like that so that is how you can use proofing tools in microsoft publisher hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe